Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be ranting about this uh, four port expansion card I recently bought off of Lazada. Uh, by the way, I'm from the Philippines, so uh, if you're from the States, the US, or wherever, um, basically, these expansion cards are are generally from the from China. Uh, depending on where you're ordering from, it may vary. Anyway, uh, for this particular expansion card, though, um, it's a PCIe 3.0 times one card, and in my opinion and observation, uh, a times one slot is more than sufficient for for a four port SATA storage device um if you're if you'd be connecting if you'd be connecting a solid state drive into this port here yeah it may matter between if you compare this times one slot to a maybe a times four or if you have the budget for a times 16 uh, but for a hard disk drive a times one slot is more than sufficient and one thing to consider before buying this one is make sure uh, I, i'm not actually sure because i have a 12th gen uh intel processor um uh processor that's being used for this card here but the motherboard i'm using is a b660 motherboard um from the reviews i or rather oh yeah sure the, the reviews I've been uh, seeing in Google is the ones with a Z690 or a Z790 uh, motherboard. They're having problems detecting this uh, detecting this uh, expansion card. But the motherboard I'm using is a B660 motherboard. So I'm not really affected by it. So if you're purchasing this card and you have a B660 board, um i can somewhat <laughs> all right I, most probably it'll work out because I, I i didn't update the the bios of this thing and uh, i straight up installed it it ran it detected the drives no problem again my motherboard's a gigabyte or rather a b660 from gigabyte and yeah uh the thing from the reviews I've been reading is that this uh, this chipset here, the AS Media ASM 1166, and the one I have is a 1064, if I'm not mistaken. Um, where is it written? Here it is. So the the one I have is the uh, four port SATA three connection or ports. And the four ports have a chipset of ASM 1064. Anyway, regardless, uh, from what I've been uh, seeing in Google, people who have this chipset AM 1064 and this one here, the 1166, is having problems detecting storage devices if they're on a Z690 or a Z790 motherboard. So I'm not sure if B660 uh, just uh, has a later or a more recent BIOS that that uh, able to read these chipsets more properly. I'm not too sure about that. All I'm saying is my B660 is detecting this ASM 1064 with no problems at all. Yeah. And yeah, to review this thing, I compared, I compared the, let me open it up real quick. All right. So I compared the uh, speed, read and write speed using the motherboard SATA connection or motherboard SATA port and compared it with the expansion cards SATA port here. It shows 192 uh, megabytes read and write, well, barely. So there's the 
read and write speed for in Crystal Disk Mark. Guys, uh, if I explain each uh, uh, sector here, it'll be uh, too long a video, so just Google what they stand for. Anyway, those are the results there. And then, comparing it with this one, it's practically the same, if not better. This one here is using the is using the PCIe SATA expansion expansion card, all right? And let's compare it side by side. You go there, and I'll open this one here. I'll zoom it. I'll zoom this one. All right. So they're practically the same. Um, yeah, they're practically the same. So all I'm saying is the SATA port for the, the SATA connection port, regardless if it's from the motherboard or this expansion card here, doesn't really matter. Uh, the, the, the expansion card I'm using uses the times one slot, which is more than sufficient, provided that it's a PCIe Gen 3. Uh, card uh, yeah um, so there you have it and I just wanted to share for for those people who have a bit of hesitation in choosing between this card here the PCIe 3.0 times one slot and the times four slot if if the expansion card you'd be buying it only has four ports guys this is more than sufficient especially especially if you'd be if you'd be using this thing for a network attached storage well maybe if, if you have a again a solid state drive and maybe a 10 gigabit network connection y yeah maybe a times four a uh, slot card may may make more sense, but I don't have that network speed right now. Right now, I'm uh, connected through a 2.5 uh, GPPS uh, connection speed, and this times one slot is able to uh, complement that. And that's it for this video. Uh, I'd be making more videos in regards to this uh, for for those who. For those of you who are interested, uh, I'm planning to make a content in regards to like a uh, comparison between a two-way mirror and a parity uh, uh, in, in regards to Windows storage spaces. And yeah, um, to conclude, SATA PCIe 4 port SATA 3 connection ports with a PCIe Express 3.0 times one slot more than sufficient for a proper use case meaning if you'd be connecting a hard disk storage into this thing no problem I can say with 100% confidence that this is more than sufficient but if you'd be using a, or connecting a solid state drive into this thing, you may have to consider uh, choosing the times 4 slot. I'm not too sure guys, I haven't tried that one out. But um, because you, ha you have to understand the, you know, the, the, the lanes uh, available, right? And, and the speed of each lane and the PCIe generation. Uh, but then again, going back for a hard disk drive, four of them connected connected to this thing, uh, I believe it's more than sufficient, especially for a 2.5 gigabit per second network speed. Yeah, this will this will get the work done properly. All right, that's it for this video. Any questions, comments, uh, violent reactions? Feel free to post them in the comment section below. And yeah, as always, see you in the next one.